Well, um, yeah, there's currently a World War II battle happening here, and uh, there's some Germans in these buildings, and they freak out when they see these giant robots. Well, I'm taking over some of the table here just to try some alpha strike rules. I'm just using my met clicks that I have, because that's what I have, and I didn't really want to cut out the paper ones right now. So I'm and I'm and I'm also making it more complicated. Well, I've done Alpha Strike before with BattleTech, but I'm now trying some of the Death from Above things. I'm not, I know I'm not going to get them all right because I don't have all the rules, and I'm using just a quick reference sheet. So I'm kind of winging it here a little bit. But basically, I'm having these guys, and I'm probably doing a scenario I shouldn't do. I, I'm kind of like mixing some of the scenarios. They have some cool missions, Death from Above, Wargaming, but they have to take these objectives that go live on turn two. And if you're within three inches and you're the only one, then you get that point. So there's four points available. Um, you know, there's defenders there. Um, anyway, we'll see what happens. Uh, I'll bring it back after like. All right, uh, moving into turn. This is turn two. Movement is over. Uh, this tank stayed still over here. Um, really, he should just pull back, and he might do that. They probably do that the next turn. Just go claim that objective. And really, this guy should jump back. He should jump back to claim the objective. This guy should just be there to cover this flank. But um, in the movement, he stayed still. He moved up. He moved up to the edge of the woods. He just popped over, and he popped over. So they're not going to get any penalties. They just kind of slid on over because that doing that from behind the building opens up a shot to him. He gets a shot on him. He might change that and shoot. He'll probably actually. Sh I don't know. We'll see. I, I don't know if you have to ask Steve. Do you declare all the shooting before? Uh, hmm. Can he see all the way down this road onto this guy? Uh, probably not where I moved him right there. I should have moved him a little further. I might do that just to get the game moving along. But he has right now got that objective. He's got that objective. And at the end of this turn, it'll flip over to their possession. So, um, Okay, let me look up um, declaring shoot. It's not clear to me if you have to declare all your attacks first. But the, def the who lost the initiative, these guys will declare all the attacks and make him. But I don't know, I have to say, like, he'll fire on him, or he'll fire on him, and he'll fire on him. I don't know if I have to do that. So I'll just fire. I mean, in a way, it makes sense. It, it's more of a... I just don't know how you'd remember that in a large battle. But I do like it, though, because it's kind of like... This is all taking place at once, right? Just minutes of battle. So, you know, they wouldn't have time necessarily to coordinate their fire. So they kind of have to decide now. They can't decide. Well... Uh, I'll probably do it where they have to declare it all right now, but we'll see. Here we are. You can see it's all moving in a little closer now. These guys are unable to shoot because that's three inches, so they can't do it. Remember, I'm using death from above uh, rules. So it's minus, it's a plus one per inch, and then at three or more, three or more inches, it's blocked, so it's blocked. Um, he shot at him, missed, he hit him, but then he rolled threes on everything. Or he rolled under three on it, like three ones, I think. So it didn't do any damage. I'm doing that as well. So he gets, if, yeah. And then he hit him for three hits. He's good. He's got a lot of armor. And then this guy, he fired on him and didn't, got him. So here's the deal. He fired on him and hit him with a 12. So that's a critical hit, right? Well, then I did that roll the three dice for his three hits or whatever the damage of dice roll is, two or three. And he missed. He didn't get any bubbles marked off. But he still got that critical hit. So a weapon system. So I guess I'm saying, you know, he, he had a weapon malfunction when he fired. And then this guy laid it all on him. And he had got nine hits. And he got a hit. And all nine were like fours and above. So he was destroyed. He has five bubbles. He didn't fire because he couldn't really see anybody. So he's going to need to move out a little bit more. Maybe get a shot down here. I'll see if he can reach. But you have to be careful because this guy has got a super good range. So he, he may go back to hiding. Because, again, they really don't need to. I really should move him back to a better, to a good firing position, like back here. There's no need for him to stay here. He needs to last as long as he can. Go claim, a, uh, go claim something. They've gotten rid of that guy, so he's probably he needs to just fly back. So we'll see what happens. Yeah. And I don't know if in jumping you can sprint. I'm going to say you can. All right, so where do we stand right now? It's uh, into turn five, halfway there. Not looking good for the attackers, really. Um... Defenders are kind of consolidating their positions. Um, these guys fired at him and did a couple points of damage there. He's nothing, nothing, nothing. No, firing is really ineffective at the moment. I'm getting some little bubbles here and there, but not just, not very many. 
Um, so it's a little different when you roll that dice for the three, uh, three plus or each hit for each uh, point of damage. So, uh, and what I mean by that is, if you're not familiar, so for example, the Kodiak, if, if I, I roll dice to hit, and if I hit him, then he would get to apply nine hits of damage. Well, in the modified hit rule, you roll nine dice and three plus is hit. I, I just like it. It's kind of, just makes it, gives it a little bit more, um, uh, variety makes it last a little longer um, we'll see though I I'm I'm liking it um, I am enjoying this game more than I have enjoyed Battletech more in the past maybe because I have objectives maybe because I have some tanks so it's a variety um, and it's not just in some open field this does make it more complicated um, so I don't know I am enjoying it more than I have in the past though so that's cool so thanks for death from above more gaming check out their video YouTube channel for some fun rules I'll need to kind of dive in uh, to understand a little bit more. So I'm going to say halfway through, I'm gonna, it's gonna be, I think it's gonna be a defender victory. I think they'll hold on. I mean, right now the, the attackers have one victory level and this guy just needs to, he, he holds it until he's gone and he has got a lot of points. But they're gonna try to flank around him this guy, I don't know, man. He's going to be tough to take down. So, I guess this, this guy should concentrate on him. He doesn't need to concentrate on getting this guy out. See, this is kind of good. It's a distraction. So, I almost wonder if I shouldn't have that tank in here. So, no, I need to get rid of him. All right, that's that. It's long. We'll, uh, we'll come back. Uh, probably do another video for the second half.